Let's have a quick look at Packet Radio 9600 board with the TMD710 here on the right and on the left we've got the FT8800 with a, an external PK9060 NC attached to it. The TMD700 um, we are going to use the um, internal TNC on this unit. Let's turn it on. Okay, so we are on uh, the 70 centimeters band VFOA. I'm not going to use VFOB as uh, it is a bit deaf. It's got a filter problem that's uh, quite usual with these units. So setting wise, the all in aux internal data band packet that's for the internal TNC we're going to use a band which is VFOA COM port board rate we connect into um, which is on the head unit we connect in from um, from the computer uh, 9600 bits per second which is this one here okay COM20 right so the time and date we're going to get it from a GPS unit attached to this uh, PC board but we're not concerned with that that's for programming I think the Kenway's got probably MPA2 or something I can't, can't remember now uh, external TNC we're not going to use that we can set that to 96 or 1200 board uh, you can select which band you attach it to um, a, B, or some other combination there. That's done for the data port on the main unit on this. Uh, okay. APRS, uh, it's all set here, but these settings here are for uh, the internal TNC in APRS mode. They haven't got anything to do with the packet radio mode on the internal TNC. Um, so TX delay and all that, the uh, board rate um, for APRS, things like that. That's the GPS port. Um, I'm not sure if you ever use um, the GPS application in uh, packet radio in the um, with the TNC set in packet. I'm not sure, but they you've actually got to initialize these here or you initialize them from the the packet radio menu in the terminal window which we'll see a bit later yeah probably yeah that's probably right I haven't got much experience with these units to be honest so okay so let's get out of this uh. yeah so the EPS is probably only for the internal TNC set in APRS mode so let's initialize the TNC so if we press this button once it's initializing in um, APRS mode with all the settings in the APRS uh, menu there which we've just seen and the GPS is flashing we've got a GPS unit attached it's got the time from the GPS and things like that we are on low power and the squelch we're gonna use open squelch I'll leave it closed for the moment as it's a bit noisy. So, um, okay, let's connect to the unit. Right, so as you can see, it's receiving uh, GPS data in uh, with the TNC set in APRS mode. Um, let me actually turn it off for one second. Yeah, so let's open the TNC again. So now we are in uh, now we are in APRS. So if we press it once again, now we are in packet. Okay, so as you can see here, let's uh, try something uh, with these fonts here. Uh, yeah, you can see them a bit better. Yeah, so. If we do a disk display, we've got all the settings with all the parameters on this unit. Yeah, he hasn't lost them. Okay, anyway. Um, 
Yeah, my call is still there and all that. Anyway, the ones we are interested in, it's TX delay, uh, which is here for 300 milliseconds. Um, I think by default it's 200 or 250, I can't remember now. Um, we want open squelch soft DCD on. Obviously, my call, which is set to YO3 FCA now. Okay, uh, we're not going to use the mail on this uh, mailbox on this unit. Uh, I believe that's pretty much it. Yeah, so the GPS applications are the uh, L text and uh, can remember there was another one. Uh, I haven't worked with this unit. Uh, it's just I've gone through recently for some uh, so my soft DCD is on TX delay 30 okay I think we are an H board obviously the 9600 as you can see here on the top packet radio 9600 no, okay so if we are to set it to 1200 board it's changed as you can see packet okay so let's change it back to 9600 the one we are interested in now okay so let's go on the left here let's turn on this uh, FD 8800 and the TNC yeah let's connect to the TNC okay the fonts should be Board here, yeah, so we can see a bit better. Yeah, my call is set to M0IPU, TX delay 300. Um, it's got an open squelch, so it's all fine. PK96, H board 9600. And I've just noticed the uh, frequencies are not right. Yeah, so now they are on the same frequency. Okay, so let's try connection on the left here. I'm going to try connect wo 3 fca But let's open the squelch first on both units. Yeah, it's a bit noisy, so let's try connection now. Okay, it's connected. Um, okay, let's go on the right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, see the SDA. It's coming up, and once the frames are transmitted, it's gone basically. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, we can try a uh, obviously um, uh, I'm gonna try a file that contains about five thousand words, but uh, it's gonna uh, even though it's fast, it's fast speed, and uh, it's gonna take a bit of a while to. So I'm, I think I'm gonna uh, leave it on for a bit and then just uh, uh, can see. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it's quite fast. Obviously, the stations are very close to each other, so they choke a bit. Um, it's not ideal. The deviation on the um, on the Kenwood is absolutely fine. You don't have to do anything. It's all set in the factory. The deviation on the PK96, um, I've set it to 2.75 kilohertz, which is... Uh, well, at least with the uh, FT8800, it's uh, recommended in the in the manual. I haven't done much of 9K6 border packet, but uh, um, yeah, that's what I found in FT8800. So yeah, I think I'm gonna disconnect now. 
Uh, yeah. yeah, the file is still in the buffer there, but uh, yeah, well, just let's not worry about that. Yeah, that's not the ideal way to disconnect, obviously. Yeah, okay. I've reset the connection with the uh, PK96, the serial connection. Uh, fine, so yeah, let's do a bit of a UI frame and connected frames. Yeah, let's see, let's type some stuff. You can see it's pretty fast. Let's try on the left here. Yeah, we here on the right we've got the monitor on for unconnected frames to show us the uh, let's see this bit um so monitor on okay constant yes, monitor and con I remember these are pretty usual uh, packet radio TNC actually, sorry, TNC commands, which is kind of, you can't do with this internal TNC in Kenya, you have to look in the manual, can't remember now, uh, you can't do like with uh, Cam Excel, for example, with an external, you can't do question mark and get information from the, on the particular command. Great, so, we in conversation mode again, okay. yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, basically, yeah. Um, on Proto, we set to CQ here. Well, here, obviously, because we can see the frames on the other side. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Packet radio with... Uh, okay, anyways, so that's pretty much it. Thank you.